are you? You look better. You look a lot better. How are you? How are you feeling? What's it? For a very long time, uh, I've been trying to manage Wanda um, with medications um, and she had progressive valve disorder and uh, heart failure symptoms. She was also being evaluated for kidney transplant. She has a, a very common valve condition called tricuspid regurgitation. When you have severe leakiness of the valve, it causes the blood, a significant amount of blood to go backwards. That can cause people to feel out of breath, fatigued, tired. It can cause them to have swelling uh, predominantly in their legs. Their belly can get distended. Their liver can become congested. Their appetite goes down. About 60% of people will die within a five year period. I was very tired. I had trouble breathing and I couldn't lie down flat. I wouldn't be able to breathe. And I had trouble walking. This valve was just getting worse and worse and worse and trying to stay ahead of it was just not successful. So we tried to exhaust all our options. I had known about this uh, device called the trick valve. It takes over as the tricuspid valve um, by putting two valves in the veins. I think we told her this, but she's the youngest person to ever get this valve implanted uh, in, in North America, South America, so the Americas. So they're famous. <laughs> uh, everything uh, went as smooth as, as planned. We kept her overnight, and now she has had a dramatic improvement in how she feels. I can walk better. I can eat better. I can sleep better. I used to suffer from a lot of nausea, constant nausea. Now, I don't have that. That's the really exciting thing that we both love about our jobs, is that we're able to do these procedures that have such a dramatic impact uh, and patients can get back into their lives uh, almost instantaneously. Rochester Regional helped uh, pay for this patient to get this procedure. She did not have financial means um, from an underserved patient population. When patients need help, regardless of their situation in life, this hospital and the physicians and the medical staff are here uh, for, for them and will find ways to make it work for them and that's really important. She certainly will live longer now that we've done this and she have a longer, fuller life and her quality of life is visibly already improved. She has a big smile and I can't remember the last time I've seen her smile so these are all good things.